In this video, we're going to learn about perlite and vermiculite and run some experiments to see how well they retain water. I used to think perlite and vermiculite were interchangeable until I did some further research. It turns out there are some big differences between them. Perlite is a silica-based material that comes from hydrated volcanic glass known as obsidian, which has water trapped inside its structure. You'll notice that commercially sold perlite is labeled expanded perlite. That's because after it's mined, it's heated to about a thousand degrees Celsius. The internal water turns into steam, causing it to expand 20 times its original size, kind of like popcorn. Vermiculite is also mined and expanded with heat, but it's a layered flaky material similar to mica. As it heats up, it expands like an accordion. Its chemical composition includes potassium, magnesium, aluminum, and silicate. So both are mined, processed with heat, and result in airy, lightweight materials that are useful for aerating soil. Both are also slightly alkaline. Now let's talk about the differences. Vermiculite holds water very well between its layers like a sponge, so it's commonly used to help retain soil moisture. In comparison, perlite doesn't retain water well at all. You can think of it more like sand. Perlite is excellent for aeration. I've used it to amend brick hard clay soil and it made the soil soft and loamy. Vermiculite also improves aeration, but not as effectively, and it can compact over time. It's also a bit heavier than perlite. Vermiculite degrades over time, so you'll need to replenish it regularly to maintain its moisture retaining benefits. Perlite never degrades, which is great. You only have to add it once. Lastly, there is a significant cost difference. Perlite is less than half the price of vermiculite, mostly because it's a more abundant natural resource. To summarize, use perlite to aerate your soil, use vermiculite to hydrate your soil. Now let's put these claims to the test with a water retention experiment. I'm going to place equal volumes of perlite and vermiculite into two pots. Then I'll pour the same amount of water into each and measure how much water each one retains. Next, we'll test the moisture levels using a soil moisture meter. I'm using the Vegetronics VG Meter 200 with a dielectric probe. If you're going to try this out yourself, I highly recommend using a reliable soil moisture meter, not a cheap Chinese meter from the hardware store. Okay, let's set up the experiment. I'm drilling identical holes in these two yogurt containers. I'm slowly hydrating each sample with water and lifting each sample to check if it's saturated. I'm using the syringe to recycle the water from the saucers to fully hydrate the samples and make sure that they have reached their true water holding capacity. You can see that the perlite has saturated and excess water is flowing into the saucer. The vermiculite has soaked up most of it and so we've proven that the vermiculite has a larger water holding capacity than the perlite. Now let's measure the sample's moisture with the soil moisture meter. The perlite shows 28%. The vermiculite measures 41%, a 13% difference. Lastly, let's check the compaction of the samples now that they're wet. When they were dry, they didn't compact much. The perlite doesn't compact at all. Now, the vermiculite. You can see that it compresses quite a bit, which means it has even more water holding capacity than we initially measured. To summarize the experimental results, the first conclusion is that vermiculite has a higher water holding capacity than perlite. We showed it to be at least 13% higher, making it a better choice for hydrating your soil. The second conclusion we can draw is that perlite is much more resistant to compaction than vermiculite, making it better for aeration of your soil. 
If you love gardening and technology, please subscribe and check out Vegetronics.com for cool gardening gadgets and automation ideas. Thanks for watching. Ha, 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 ha.